Most people, they don't think they can do what we do. Problem is most of our society doesn't want to start, they're too scared. It's fear that limits us. You got to break through those limits and go for it to succeed. You've got to start. And to achieve greatness takes hard work. Panther Gym opens to the public at 3 p.m. To all longtime members, the gym is open 24-7. Owner Benny the Jet Swanson makes sure they have a key to the front door. Yeah. I'm a poodle, but I can be a pit bull. And I need a place where I can be the pit bull and it's okay. And that's what Panther Gym gives me and a lot of people. So a lot of them is that they're part of this family, part of the Panther Gym family. I don't care if it sounds corny. That's what it is. It is a family. Up, up, cross, eh? Get out of the way, throw that little sneaky uppercut. Breathe. Today, Benny and boxing prodigy Ben Alvarez are in early, training for the Alberta Provincial Championship. Hands up after. Inhale, fire, and then dig to the body. Nice and easy, okay? I've seen so many guys come through here and they just don't have that drive and the discipline. I see it in Ben. As Ben continues and every fight we have is gonna get tougher and tougher. I was always a tough kid. I never liked people picked on me. Whenever it comes to fights, I'm never scared of getting hit hard. I'm never scared of getting knocked out. And what I'm scared of is losing. Ben and his three siblings were born and raised in San Antonio, Chile. They had food on their plates, but were afforded few opportunities to pursue their dreams. Where we come from, we're a middle, low-class family. You know, we didn't have much growing up, but you know, we had food in the table. We went to a good school. Back home, they couldn't have afford uh, for us to do an extra cur curricular activity that required extra money during the month. My family is a re really hard-working family. My parents have done so much for us. They moved here for us to have a better future. My mom and dad, they always taught us to not fight. My father always told us, whenever somebody picks on you, just walk away. One time, this one kid was picking on me. I honestly didn't want to fight him when I saw him, but I had to do something. You got to stand up for yourself, right? As soon as he said something, I pushed him, and then I woke up on the ground. I was bleeding. My tooth was in my mouth. I spit it out, and then that was it. I remember it like it was yesterday. He said to himself and to me, I'm not going to take this anymore. It's kind of shocking because he, he wasn't like that. So that, that's when he decided to enjoy boxing. He decides maybe he'll become a dream. A dream of him being a professional boxer and make it to the top one day. Something that we would have never thought about being back in Chile. In two weeks time, Ben Alvarez will look to be crowned Alberta's number one light heavyweight amateur fighter and punch his ticket to the national championships bringing him that much closer to a life-changing spot on the Canadian Olympic team. Not so smart fighters, hey? But it won't come easy. Those guys, they're gonna wanna kill him. They're gonna wanna rip his head off. Ben needs his fight to step it up and uh, look at sponsorships and to take his boxing to the next level. Benny knows better than anyone how a supportive family can mean the difference between success or failure inside the ring and out. Without my mom's support, my family's support, I don't know where I'd be, and I've said it before, be either jail or dead. I have disappointed my parents a bunch of times. When my parents came here with the mentality that they want us to have a career, have a profession. He decides he wants to go for a fight. He tells my mom and dad, and they say to him, you're crazy, you want to fight? You want to end up with concussions uh, before you go to university? You want to end up with your brain all bruised up and, you know, and all that stuff? And he said, come on, mom, come on, you know, just let me give it a try. I just want to go and I, I want to know what it feels like to get in the ring. To Ishmael, Ben is a talented young fighter with a good chance at the title, but he has two major hurdles to overcome. His family 
and himself. There's definitely a conflict between me and my parents. I want boxing to be my life. They think I'm, they, I lost track, I lost family values. Just, they're, they're just really disappointed right now. We're in a different country, you know. We can actually see and feel our dreams. Nice. And when you're jabbing Ben, you gotta stop that. Well, to be a great fighter, Ben's gotta really commit to this and be willing to live broke for years on end to believe in your dream. Get that right. The hours, all the dedication, all the hard work I put in, it's gonna be worth it at the end because I know I'm gonna be able to go to the Olympics and that's my ultimate goal. Amen. Keep him at bay, it gives you time. I would like to be, you know, one of the best. As the pressure mounts, Benny is called away, forcing Ben to train alone during the days leading up to the fight. Ben's a big boy now, he's a man, and uh, he's got to realize we're not going to be there all the time. Uh, he's got to prove he wants us, and he's got to learn to motivate himself. With Benny away and Provincials looming, Ben Alvarez is left to his own devices to prepare himself for the biggest fight of his career. Benny tells me to do four runs a week, the stairs, sprints, I do lots of sparring, we do lots of bag work, we do a bit of weight training, and then we just watch your weight. This is a brutal, tough sport. No questions about it. There's, there's no beating around the bush about it. I've been punched pretty hard before, but I don't think it would make a difference. All I got to do is move and punch, move and punch, and I'm going to win again. Nice and smart, bro. Due to his unusually long arms, slim frame, and ability to create combinations from a variety of angles, Ben poses a very real threat to most other fighters in his weight class. I want this round beautiful. Hey. Keep moving, Although he outclassed this opponent, a victory here Three, does not mean much for Ben, except improved confidence and renewed motivation to prove to his family that he's meant to box. The feeling of letting my parents down is horrible. I want them to know that the sacrifice they made, it's gonna be worth it in the end. But I do wanna make my parents proud. As Ben continues training in the days leading up to the fight, he finds that it takes constant effort to rid his mind of distractions. Training on your own is tough. You always need someone to see your mistakes, to look, see how you can improve yourself, because usually when you train on your own, you think you're unreal. In the end, that's gonna be a downfall for you when it comes to a real fight. Coach Sterling Craig knows that there is much more to boxing than work ethic and athletic ability. He might have all the potential in the world, but I don't have him Olympic bound until he's won something significant locally. The main thing is not that me, you, or the whole Panther family, my family believes in him. The main thing is that he believes in him. He's got to win this fight. He wants to go to the Nationals, bigger things. You've got to win the Provincials or you don't go any further. If he wins, he drops opportunity. If he loses, back to the drawing board. With a record-setting turnout, the provincial championships are a buzz of adrenaline and nervous excitement. In the upcoming days, dreams will be realized and shattered. Back just in time for the fight, Benny meets his young fighter at the venue to go over the fight plan and do some last-minute training. Boxing 70% mental, 70% minimum mental. So a lot of people can come in with great athletic attributes and mentally can't handle the heat. We have a warrior sense in ourselves. So the formula to walk through that ring, one of the most dangerous sports you can choose in your life is just to go through that fear and go for it. In a show of faith and support for their son, Ben's parents attend the fight, prepared to watch Ben risk everything to achieve his dream. My parents, they're very scared of my brother going into a fight and getting injured. Getting hurt, getting a concussion. 
may be dying in the ring. Biggest fear for any of my fighters is once they lose, they're gonna quit on me. And fire with intention, nice. I sparred with him myself, I know how tough he is. Okay, first round, a little jittery, now you can slow it down. Pick your spot. He's got a heart, that's what matters. He has to decide with his heart and soul. I mean, you have to really, really believe it and believe it every minute of every day. Get him on these ropes, Ben, I want you to punish him here and come up here. Body now, body, body, Ben. I don't fear getting knocked out. I don't fear getting hit hard. The only thing that worries me is losing. Fear is a huge motivator. The hardest thing is to keep the boxer focused on what he needs to do. Last round, get him. And I gotta pay bills. I got lots of responsibilities and stuff. The only thing that keeps me motivated is that I know that one day I will make it to the Olympics. If I didn't have Panther Gym and have this purpose, where would I be? In jail with assault? Or dead? Bernie, he's tense, and I like the way he pushes me, and he knows the buttons to push you to make you work harder. I want to change lots of kids. Don't let fear stop you. You're going to be scared. He always wants the best for us. Awesome, you guys. Be all we can be. Benny? Karen. Hurt and pain, sadness turns into rage. Man, we live in one angry world. I still deal with demons every day.